Hi guys, so if you want to learn how to make the boiling crabs whole shebang boiling crab special sauce, stay tuned and I'll show you how. So you're going to need five cloves of garlic, obey. Paprika, cayenne red peppers, lemon pepper seasoning, Cajun seasoning, and salted butter. And I always use Kroger brand because I just do, because I always have a coupon for it. <laughs> um, one of the things, one ingredients that I, I one ingredient that I do not have is the um, brown sugar. Don't have any in my pantry. The recipe calls for one tablespoon of brown sugar, but I'm good in this place. I'm just going to use regular sugar. So hopefully, it won't make that big of a difference. We shall see. So let's go. Okay. The first step is to dice up five cloves. Of garlic not four not two not three but five okay so while you're dicing up your garlic put your four sticks of butter in your saucepan turn the heat down to low and allow it to simmer okay guys so this is what five cloves of garlic looks like so you can either chop it up in a food processor or cut it up by hand. I personally like to cut it up by hand. I don't know why, but I do. So that is the next step. Also, peeling the garlic is the hardest part of this recipe because <sighs> there's a lot to peel it. So stay tuned. Okay, so you can see I changed my mind about dicing, in, dicing up my garlic by hand. So I'm going to Pulse it so I can get the that I want. So I don't want it pulverized. I'm gonna cut up in good little chunks. Take one more time. And there we go. So here we go. Okay, so now I've added the garlic to the butter. And I need to let it simmer so it can marry and taste delicious. So I'm going to let it cook for a while and then I'll start adding the spices. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now it's time for the spices. So what we're gonna add to my clear bowl is a ta two tablespoons of Old Bay paprika, cayenne, and lemon pepper. Um, and as, as well as Cajun seasoning. So I'm gonna start with the Obey. Okay. And I'm gonna pour it over. Okay. Yes, yeah, a little dropped in, but that won't matter, no will it. Lemon pepper is next. I'm actually going to stick it up into. Okay. Here's two tablespoons. I'm sorry, that's one tablespoon. Let me get my other. Okay. Get you two tablespoons of lemon pepper. Now I need one more tablespoon of the obey. So that makes two. Okay. Paprika. Ooh. Ooh. So that's one. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna fill this one all the way up. Because some of the other fell in there. Some say. That's two tablespoons. 
of paprika. Now I'm going to add the Cajun seasoning. Two tablespoons of that. That's one. Two. And a little pepper cayenne. I don't think I'm, I need two tablespoons of cayenne. I don't know if I got it. Yeah, I got enough. One. Sorry, y'all. I had to tend to my lemon and garlic pepper. Turn it down because it's ready for the spices. Okay. Give me some more need. I'm about to go on and just add. All of the cayenne so that's all the seasoning okay lemon pepper cayenne cajun seasoning paprika and obey two tablespoons of each if you're going to make a half an order or half of the recipe just half it and use just only one tablespoon so after i add all of my seasonings as i'm pouring in my seasoning i use a whisk to whisk it in to ensure that it's all blended and incorporated together. One other thing that I didn't forgot to add or forgot to tell you about is it also called add or forget to tell you about is to add two tablespoons of hot sauce. And I use the Louisiana brand. So we're gonna put two tablespoons, a little bit more of um, Louisiana hot sauce in there, and two tablespoons of sugar. Normally I would use brown sugar, but I don't have any, so I'm using regular sugar. And then you let it simmer for 10 minutes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is what your final product should look like. It is a beautiful mahogany, dark reddish, brownish color. And it can be used for all types of seafood as well as vegetables. I always dip my broccoli, corn, and potatoes into it. So, enjoy.